lock and load my people who needs to wear overalls <laughs> Hey, this is just as comfortable. As you know, um, the studio space is slowly coming together upstairs and I thought, let me take this opportunity just to show you a sort of a quick update of what it's looking like, as well as a sort of lookbook of what I've been wearing in it for the past few days. First up is this, well, needs no introduction, these wide leg Jacquemus trousers that I, you know, I adore these. And I thought I'd try it with um, two different takes on wearing my vintage scarf as a top. Um, I've been wearing vintage scarves as tops during the summer and the heat of summer a lot, especially on a day like it was when it was, I think it was like high 80s or 90s. So I thought it was a nice thing to wear and also gave me some inspiration for going away, hopefully one day on holiday. This blouse, an absolute corker of a, a score to find this Ganny blouse um, on an incredible clearance markdown. So I scooped it up and I'm, boy, am I glad I did. I lucked out, the sizing is perfect. Um, it has all the hallmarks that I look for, right? The high neck, the exaggerated um, ruffled shoulders, the beautiful ornate broderie on glaze, and that sky blue, sky blue color. You know already how I feel about blues. It's probably why I ended up with a blue sofa, vintage sofa, I'm sure I manifested that. I love the wide armholes as well because especially when it's really warm you don't want anything to feel very clingy around that area so it feels very airy um, with all those holes and the, the large arm cutouts you already know about these um, shelves this is something that was repurposed from downstairs um, michael cut these ikea shelves down made them shorter so they could fit into that area right where you're seeing um, that i'm leaning against and it was perfect to display my shoes on upstairs and just see everything that i've got in one go for example like here where i'm trying to decide what shoes to wear and i ended up just going with the um, just basic tethers because the blouse is so frilly and so ornate in terms of bags when i do step out i'm mostly wearing like cloth reusable bags when i'm going to the supermarket but i like playing with the idea of what if you know or what when so when we do get to eventually go out and everything reopens here's me dropping the bag <laughs> um you know Will I wear a bag like this? And I love the idea. You know how I love tans and blues or browns and blues? That's why I picked this straw bag. Now in, in retrospect, hindsight, looking at this video, sorry, I can see why I was drawn to it. These are like two things coming together in one that I love. One is leopard print and the other is a slip dress. Um, I teamed this long maxi slip dress uh, just with some simple gold jewelry, which I usually wear. Um, the dress is by Veta Vier, I believe it's pronounced. Um, I'll link everything below as well as some similars to them as well if it's no longer available. But it's just nice. We know when you want to just dress up because you just want to dress up and it just is good for you and lifts your mood. That's what this dress is for me, which is why I have it on. It almost has like a 90s feel, you know, the cowl neck and then, you know, that the crisscross at the back. So it's very sort of airy. It's, it feels more comfortable actually than wearing a pair of jeans, believe it or not, because you're not dealing with separates.
this wardrobe that I'm going through um, was already there in this room so that wasn't a change that I needed to make uh, you will see if you look in the small mirror in the back you can see the reflection of a new wardrobe system that I'm currently working on and I'll eventually show you that in another video by the way, having a ceiling fan going this past week has been brilliant. It's been an absolute godsend. So um, I love the look of ceiling fans going as well. So um, I may swap out the look of this one, but I'll definitely keep a fan. This is actually one of my favorite looks because I just love this t-shirt. It's by the Frankie Shop, a lot of you know about this padded tee. Um, it got me into wearing t-shirts again. Um, I teamed it with a chambray maxi skirt by Cezanne. It's old, but it's one of my favorite skirts um, and I love it with the dad sandals. I did invest, I caved and got the Chanel dad sandals, I know. But I've been wearing this type of sandal since last summer, all of last summer, and I just love that style of sandal because it's chunky and I love, I just love chunky footwear um, I just laid some simple gold jewelry over the t-shirt obviously um, I just love the cut of that skirt my low ever blue puzzle bag in small I love this soft color it's so nice god I really have an obsession with blue don't I this is for me really comfortable really easy to wear it's a good thing to wear like indoors and then straight outdoors as well um, so it's a nice sort of transition of piece to wear and it just feels very casual but um, yeah I love it a lot of you already know this um, jumpsuit is by Ula Johnson I love it and I teamed it with some of my favorite pieces and gold uh, these are old mango earrings actually and the jewelry double hoops um, I have this mannequin which I've actually had for years in the basement I resurrected it and put it in the studio because I like the idea sometimes of just practicing with outfits on something so I think that's what that's going to be I love the square neck by the way and um, the back detail of uh, this Ula Johnson jumpsuit I think it's really really timeless it looks kind of classic as well um, and it's pretty as well so it's just it kind of like ticks off all the boxes if you know what I mean and I love that it has pockets wide leg as well throughout the silhouette on the trouser you know it's just those little details that make a massive difference to me and I know that Ula Johnson is on the higher end price wise but I don't own many jumpsuits at all so for me to have this is a true investment that I think will just you know stay with me for a really long time and as you know this vintage sofa you know the story of it already um, and I'm really happy with pairing it with this vintage mirror that I found so if you're looking for any more inspiration on my looks obviously check out my Instagram account Karen Britchick I'm there every single day um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and welcome if this is your first time here and I'll see you next week Friday